Welcome to Trending Niches episode number eight. And this week, as usual, I'll be showing you trending niches on Amazon and Redbubble. And I'll show you these niches, or I've found them and researched them uh, with a combination of POD CS and the free Redbubble popular tags tool. So if you want to check these out, there will be links down below, as well as tutorials of how to use the tools to find trends and niches. Niche number one I've got for you on Amazon is Tummy Ache Survivor. No clue where this has come from, but I've seen a lot of these shirts doing really well and um, they've jumped a lot recently in BSR. There is a lot of designs that have this sort of similar graphic in it, so I probably wouldn't copy that, but I've checked this for trademarks and, and I can't seem to find anything wrong with it. But yeah, you don't need to use this graphic design with the sort of blue guy holding his tummy you can as you can see also create different text designs like this one which uh, has got a really low bsr as well and notice how all of these have got very little reviews so they're all very new shirts that are doing extremely well and uh, the search results here are very sparse on podcs uh, it doesn't have the full niche index but i'll show you the amazon ones right now so here are some more examples and as you can see um, there's even a shirt with 14,000 BSR right here. Uh, a lot of these have been posted this summer. And yeah, there's, there's some other unique designs. So it doesn't have to be this graphic that everyone seems to copy. I wouldn't do that because it is sort of copyright infringement. And taking a quick peek at the detail page for this one, uh, this sort of wavy design style, which looks really nice and sells extremely well in, in lots of niches. We can see that uh, the BSR history for the past few days, so the past week, it's been quite low, nearly two million BSR. And just in the last couple of days, this has really, really dropped rapidly to 60,000 BSR. So yeah, definitely indicative of a current trend. I've looked at some of the other designs as well, and they've all seemed to have really increased in sales over the past few days. So I'm not sure where this has come from. Uh, but I think there's nothing wrong with it. I can't tell what should be. It's no trademarks. I don't see uh, anything sort of offensive <laughs> with the design. So definitely good niche to look into. The second niche is a bit of a sub niche of back to school, I suppose, or I'm guessing that's why it's trending. And it is half coffee, half teacher. So the designs that I found uh, within the bestsellers on Amazon are these two on the left right here, two different sort of styles that look really nice, both of them. And also notice both of them have zero reviews. And looking on Amazon, once again, we can see some more design ideas right here. You don't just have to copy the, the bestseller with that wavy text style. Uh, there is other ideas to approach this as well. One idea that I had of how to stand out a bit in this niche is instead of just saying half teacher, you could put half science teacher or half maths teacher. Just try and uh, niche down a bit that way in this trend, uh, instead of just copying the exact same phrase that everyone else uses. But as you can see, lots of these have like zero reviews and uh, are selling pretty well. So I'll definitely want to get into a trending back to school niche right now. Next up, we've got an evergreen niche, which has made its way up into the trending shirts during this week. So this is Axolotl, and um, there's quite a few shirts right here, 26,000, 39,000 that are extremely low, tons more that are around the 100K mark. So while whilst this sells pretty well all year round, it's definitely seen a spike in sales recently. And uh, a good idea by just looking at the best sellers right here of how to approach this is by obviously cross niching. So we've got Takalotl, um, there's Games Alotl over here, Reads Alotl, so you can spin that name with uh, lots of different topics and make it funny and uh, more niche that way. Taking a quick peek right here at the best seller, you can see some of the keywords right here as well as long tail keywords. And uh, if we scroll down to the BSR history, then you can tell that whilst this design was doing pretty well anyway, sort of during the last month, at the moment it is definitely trending down in BSR and up in terms of sales. So uh, yeah, this is a niche that seems to be doing extremely well right now. Not sure why. Um, I don't know why so many people are obsessed with these animals. But yeah, even if you don't want to join this trend, then uh, it is definitely an evergreen niche that is worth considering because it has lots of potential and it sells well all year around. Niche number four I've got for you on Amazon is Class Of. And this is once again a school related one, but definitely a lot of shirts of these are within the top sellers on Amazon right now. 
and I also noticed some very unique new approaches. So obviously you get a lot of text designs that say class of 2035, uh, 2034 occasionally, which is alluding to the fact that the, the people or the, the kids that are starting school right now, they will finish around the time of 2035. One unique design approach that I found which seems to be relatively new because lots of these don't have uh, very many reviews. Uh, these right here, so the white t-shirts for example, or I've got this one, class of 2035. And taking a closer look at one of these designs, if I zoom into it right here, you can see that the person has added sort of a, a checklist or tick boxes for every year or every level, every grade that the kid has to go through. So that's definitely a cool, unique approach to this niche and um, it seems like a lot of the designs don't have many reviews and are selling pretty well according to the BSR. So definitely an opportunity right here of how to niche down within the class of niche. And niche number five for Amazon is Bigfoot, another sort of evergreen one that uh, does generally do really well all year round, but has definitely got some trending shirts at the moment. Especially if we look at patterns, there is tons of designs at the moment doing well that have uh, Bigfoot doing this sort of rock pose or holding a guitar. This one is even cross niched uh, with guitar and the sort of Mexican theme. So very unique idea right there. And um, I think if you, because this is obviously like the rock symbol, if you want to use the word rock, do be careful. I think it is a trademark word for t-shirts, but that doesn't mean you can't use that pose. So yeah, Bigfoot doing really well at the moment, specifically that one particular style, but obviously that doesn't mean you can't come up with other unique ideas of how to cross niche Bigfoot with other topics and potentially pick up sales while this is trending and doing really well on Amazon. And the first niche I've got for you on Redbubble this week is Effort is Attractive. This has seen a 2000 point jump in terms of popularity and it has got 133 results. And uh, just looking at some of the sort of most relevant designs that show up in the first rows, there's lots of text designs that seem very hard to read or not really that great. So you can probably improve on those a lot by just using different fonts, different color themes and not overlaying the word effort over the other ones. Um, that's definitely really hard to read some of these. So generally, I think this relates to working out to the gym, like these designs here with the dumbbell. Um, scroll down a bit, there's also some designs that have arms, or sort of tensed arms in them. They're very popular design style right here once again, sort of wavy retro bubbly font. So yeah, I think you can probably create some way nicer looking designs for this niche and uh, there doesn't seem to be much competition on Redbubble, uh, especially if we if we scroll down. I mean, some of these don't even have to do with the phrase anymore. We're just kind of getting into boxing designs now. So yeah, maybe there's even less results than 133 for that specific phrase. Next up, I've got an extremely long search term. I'm not even gonna bother reading it out, but it has to do with back to school. And uh, it's sort of mainly about the alphabet letters. I don't know why this phrase specifically is trending on Redbubble, but it has very low results and it has jumped in terms of popularity ranking in 6,000 points, which is a lot. It's one of the, the highest jumps in popularity in comparison to the last week uh, that there is on Redbubble right now. So definitely something in high demand. Um, and it just seems to be basic alphabet letter designs, which is obviously fairly easy to replicate. Some persons added a rainbow as well, uh, which is a nice idea to make it a bit more unique and not just letters. Some of these also have the high highlighted, which is part of the search phrase right here. So high alphabet um, seems to be what a lot of people highlight within the alphabet itself. So uh, that is probably what a lot of people might be looking for if they want to purchase shirts within this niche. So yeah, try and come up with some nice designs for this one. Um, maybe add some graphics to, to make it look a bit more interesting as well. And uh, yeah, not too much competition, so have fun designing for this one. And last but not least, uh, the last Red Bull niche I've got for you is We Are Not Tacos Will Vote Republican. So uh, quite a funny sub niche of politics and it has only got 143 results with a popularity jump of 2,300 points. So this is a trending niche on Redbubble. And uh, yeah, I mean, fairly simple designs. You've got American flags with tacos on them and then some nice looking sort of politic font. Uh, that's what I like to call these because you always see that design style or that, that font style 
within politics niches. There's a similar one as well. I think that looks like one that, that I've used in the past. I can't remember the name, but I'm, I'm sure you've probably seen it. Got the messy hair bun design right there, which always does really well. If there's flags involved, I like this layout as well for a sticker design. Looks really nice and neat. For stickers, I think a round layout is perfect because you don't have those wobbly edges like, like this person right here, for example, which just doesn't really look that nice as a sticker. So if that's something you want to try out, because stickers we now do sell really well on Redbubble, then uh, maybe stick to a more geometric layout, let's say, in form of a, a circle or a, a rectangle, whatever you think works best. And just for a bit of extra insight, here is the PODCS detailed info page for this specific trend. So um, as we can see, 67% t-shirts are selling and 30% stickers. So it's definitely worth trying out some of those sticker optimized designs. Here's some of the most used keywords or tags within this niche along the top setters at least. So uh, if, if you are signed up to this tool, I'm pretty sure you can see all this for free. Um, you could just copy like the top 15 tags and apply them to your listing, which is really handy. Some average prices right here and the most popular color by far is black. So uh, maybe another idea of how to stand out in this trend would be to just make designs for white backgrounds or uh, even for different colors. So yeah, there's some in-depth info. I hope that helps uh, for you entering this trend and yeah, have fun designing. So that's all the niches that I've got for you this week. And if you want to increase the likelihood of getting sales when you enter these niches with your designs, then I highly recommend you watch this video next where I share the best print on demand graphic design resource with you. And I walk you through how I find my graphics and use them in my t-shirt designs.